What's up, nail friends? It's Sarah here from Sarah's Nail Secrets, and if you're new here, I am a professional nail tech of 12 years. So in this set, I'm gonna be doing a fun cloud design, but first I had to pick some colors. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of picking some colors, seeing what looks good together. So I ended up going with green pastel, moon jelly, which is new, Tiffany teal, and fairy crush is a beautiful glitter, and then a loose glitter called sea gem as well. And then also Shattered Diamond, which is also new. And that's the colors I decided to go for. And then this is the design I drew out. So I'm gonna try to uh, create a set based on the design that I drew. So I am gonna be using my Red Iguana fake hand for this video. And when I use this hand, it's mainly gonna be about the nail art. If you guys are interested in prep and finish file, don't worry, I will add that into any designs when I'm doing my own nails or on clients. But when it comes to the fake hand, this is all just about the colors and the nail art. So to start, I am doing smile lines on two of the nails. So I went in with Tiffany Teal to start, just a little bead right where I wanted my smile line to start. Then I'm using the tip of my brush to create that smile line, and then we'll refine it more with a hand file when we're ready, when it's dry. So I'm just gonna leave my smile line and work on the rest of the nail for now. So I'm gonna marble some colors together. So I'm going in with those other colors at the cuticle area, green pastel and moon jelly. I'm just trying to get my cuticle area nice and then I'm just gonna pull some colors through each other just so the background of my cloud design is a little interesting and not flat one color. So this doesn't need to be perfect or even look like a marble or really look like anything. Basically just put some colors down and mix them together. I decided to do the same thing on the pointer finger as well. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just creating my smile line, but this time I went in with moon jelly. So look how beautiful moon jelly is. It's like a light blue, kind of minty blue with some shimmer in it. It's super pretty. So again, I'm placing that down and then I'm just using the tip of my brush to create my smile line. And then I just double check that they are about the same on both the nails since I want these nails to kind of match. And then when I realize they are very similar, I go ahead and do my cuticle bead now. So again, using a light color around the cuticle, very carefully pushing it towards the cuticle. You can kind of bend the finger downwards so that the product kind of goes down instead of spreads towards the cuticle area. And then I'm just, again, just placing the colors on, kind of marbling them, not really doing much, just kind of placing them on and pulling them through each other. Like I said, doesn't have to look like anything really, just to make the background. Interesting. So I am going to just encapsulate that part of the nail because I'm going to need the ledge of the smile line to be a little bit thicker than it is so that when I hand file it, it's nice and crisp. So that's what I'm doing. Just applying the clear acrylic over top of that on both the nails. While I let my smile lines dry enough for hand file, I'm gonna go in and do the other two nails. So I'm starting at the pinky here and I'm going in at the cuticle area. I double dipped in green pastel and shattered diamond and I just went at the cuticle area first and fading that down the nail. And then I'm just going to create uh, an actual marble nail. I'm gonna try to make it look nice because again, this is gonna be the background for some cloud nails. So I just went all three colors down, Tiffany Teal, Moon Jelly, and Green Pastel. And then I'm taking the tip of my brush and just pulling back and forth, um, going up towards the right and down towards the left. And then this will just look really pretty. And I'm just adding more of those colors at the tip. Pulling them through each other and then cleaning up the sides, pulling off anything that doesn't need to be on the nail. And then we're gonna go in with some glitter with Fairy Crush, so pretty. I think that this glitter matches uh, the colors that I picked really well. So then I'm just placing that randomly on the nail, wiping off what is not needed. And then I'm trying to pat it really flat, just so that I don't file anything off when I encapsulate. So that's how that looks. So I'm gonna do kind of the same idea again on the other finger because these nails also match. So I'm applying the bead of green pastel with shattered diamond around the cuticle area, getting my cuticle bead nice and even, and then I'm gonna marble.
I love the way that turned out. It's so pretty. So here is a progress shot of how the nails are turning out. So now we can file those smile lines because they are dry. So I'm just taking my metal file refill and I'm just filing the smile line, trying to make it really crisp and so that it looks a little bit better when we apply our next color. So just gonna wanna dust that off. And now I'm going in and I've dipped my brush into clear glass slippers acrylic and picked up some of that seed gem. So that is a loose glitter. So you're gonna need to mix it with something. So I mixed it with some clear acrylic. So I'm placing that on the nail, not overlapping my smile line. I'm just pushing it up towards that smile line with the tip of my brush. And I'm cleaning off anything that overlaps because I don't want any of that glitter over top of the blue. Once that's all placed down, I'm just picking up a little bit more of the C gem and I'm just gonna place it right there. And then I'm just gonna fade that gently down. I want the very, very tip of this nail to be kind of clear. So you don't want all the C gem covering it. You just want it to kind of fade down sparsely. And then I'm gonna cover that with the Fairy Crush. And then I'm gonna kind of blend the glitters together so that they kind of create like a nice even blend while leaving most of the C gem untouched close to the smile line. So it just looks extra dark there. And then I'm gonna repeat that on the other nail. So once that's done, here is a progress shot of all the nails before encapsulating. I love this set, they turned out so pretty. So I'm going to encapsulate these nails. So I'm gonna go in with my Glitter Bells Glass Slippers Clear. And when doing nails this long, I apply the bead at the bottom first, and I encapsulate the tip first before going in with a cuticle bead or an apex. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just fully covering that tip, wiping off anything that's too much, we don't need to over apply. You don't need to make this bulky. And then I'm gonna go in with a cuticle bead right now. So I'm just picking up a bead, cleaning off my brush, making sure it's not too wet. You don't want this to like drip or droop. See how I can place it and it kind of just stays where I put it. And then I'm cleaning off my brush and using my brush to maneuver that bead. So using the tip of my brush to get close to the cuticle area, I have the finger bent downward just so the product will go in a downward motion and not at all spread into the cuticle area. And then I'm just going to fade that in with the first bead I did and then I'm gonna show you guys a side view and then we're going to create our apex. So that's what it looks like from the side without my apex, so it's too flat. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more because we want this to be nice and strong. Because even if I'm using a fake hand, you guys, I always like to make sure that the structure is correct because they'll just look the best in the end. So even if you're practicing, make sure your structure is good and you have an apex because it'll end up looking better in the end and it's just good to practice correctly. So I'm just fading that down the nail. And now here is a side view of that apex. So I'm going to repeat that on all the other nails. So I'm going to encapsulate the very tip of this, trying to make sure that when you're doing these smile line nails, you get your clear all the way up into the corners of where your smile line is, just so you don't have any missing spaces there because it could end up being weaker in that spot. So I'm just fading this down the nail. I need to get full coverage of the very tip because that's what I seem to 
struggle with when I do stilettos is missing enough product at the very, very tip and then having that little piece snap off. So make sure you add enough there. And then I'm just going to encapsulate the cuticle area, bending the finger downward, cleaning off my brush, using the tip of my brush to push the product towards the cuticle area, and then blend down the nail. So I'm just gonna do that one more time on the middle finger here, encapsulating the tip first, and then we will move on. I'm not gonna show you guys finish filing. I just find that it's too hard to finish file on camera in the hand with the hands, with the fake hands. So I finish file off camera. So again, like I said, I will include finish filing in any of my nails with real people. So you can also check my older videos for finish filing and prep but I hope you guys still enjoy these videos for the art and the colors. After all the nails have been encapsulated, here is how they look. So I just wanna mention that while I'm encapsulating and applying, I like to apply and encapsulate as if I want to have very minimal finished filing at the end. So you can see that that's what they look like before filing and then here's how they look after filing. So you want as little finished filing as possible. It just makes it a little easier for yourself. So now I'm gonna hand paint some clouds. So I'm using my beautiful new palette from Kelsey's Claws. I will link her in my description box. She makes these hand painted resin gel palettes and she made me Princess Jasmine and it is the best. It's so pretty. So I'm going to be using the Glitter Bells gel polish in silver lining and white gloss. And to start creating my clouds i'm taking a dotting tool and i'm just using the white gloss and i'm first create putting the dots down so either three or four dots and then i'm using a gel art brush this one's from glitter bells and i'm just spreading the product um first here though i dipped into the silver lining just to add the gray because i found that just plain white clouds aren't very dimensional so adding the gray underneath gives it a little bit of a shadow and just makes it more dimensional and I'm also using some alcohol to kind of thin out my product just so it's not too thick. Cause like I said, you want this to be kind of sparse just so it doesn't look too cartoony. You want this to look more like abstract little clouds. And I am curing each cloud just so I don't accidentally bump it or anything. I find to make the cloud look even more realistic, taking the very tip of this brush and kind of spreading it out on the corners of the clouds, give it an even more realistic touch. After applying the silver lining, I like to wipe off my brush and then dip it in alcohol and then mess up the bottom of the cloud. And again, I'm gonna cure that and then create more clouds. So the thing I also really like about using the fake hand is I don't have the pressure of a client, you know, asking me when I'm gonna be done or feeling like I need to be fast. So when I get to do these designs, I get to really take my time and just do what I want and figure out what works. So I've done cloud designs before on clients and I found that they just didn't turn out because I didn't have the time to spend um, making them look realistic and I didn't have the time to spend playing around and figuring out what works. So that's also why I like to use these fake hands is because I can really spend my time figuring out what works so that I can actually you know, tell you guys like this is what works, this is what doesn't work. So there's another good reason why I like the fake hand. So I repeated that on the middle finger because I wanted those nails full of clouds. Um, to create my cloud designs, if you're not really sure, I'm one of those people I can't really draw from the top of my head. You know, I can't really like think of a design and draw it. I have to see it. So when you're drawing something like clouds, they're so easy. Just look at a picture of clouds. Or what I did was I looked at a picture of someone who drew makeup and I just kind of like looked at the way they drew their clouds. I found that that worked for me. And then for this design, I just decided to try to get a little closer and see if I could kind of get the clouds closer together, experimenting with them a little bit. 
And I think that turned out pretty cool. So that's what's fun about this design is you can kind of cure it and then try to get your clouds closer. Maybe you could even try overlapping them because if you cure the first cloud and then you can test it with the second cloud, right? And if you hate it, you can always just wipe it off. And then your first cloud's still there. So I was kind of playing around a little bit with that, putting the clouds closer together. And I thought that looked really pretty. So here I'm just putting more clouds on onto the other two nails as well. Not as many clouds, but just a couple. And so let's move forward now because I've showed you guys how to do clouds a couple times and they're quite easy as you can see. So after that, it's all been cured. Now I'm gonna add some crystals. So I'm gonna use my Glitter Bells base glue. I've put it on a palette and I am just using some micro swabs to place exactly where I want the glue to go. And then I'm surrounding this cool like triangle crystal with some crystals that I thought would look pretty in the set and kind of match the design. So that's what I'm doing here. And I did this on both the ring finger and the pointer finger. And then on the pinky and the middle finger, I just added one crystal. So here is a progress shot of how they look. And now we can top coat these. So I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat and I'm just top coating the whole design, just like that. You don't want to get your top coat on your crystals or you might dull the shine. So you can push your top coat close to the crystals and let it seep under them, but just don't go over top of them. Do you guys think this set would have turned out really cool if I did the middle finger and the pinky matte? Or do you think that I made the right call of doing the whole thing shiny? Let me know in the comments section. So after I have top coated all the nails, I give it a full cure, I let it cool off for about two minutes before applying cuticle oil and then here is my finished design what do you guys think of it i think it turned out so pretty and i had so much fun creating it if you guys recreate this set please tag me i would love to see your spin on it i hope you guys learned something and if you did please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and if you do please click the bell next to it to be notified when i post so thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye